Hey y'all, it's Sheila. Thank you for stopping by and spending a few minutes of your day with me. This video is not going to be for everybody. I have some of you here that are here only for the breast cancer related videos. I have some of y'all that are here for other things. And I have some of y'all that have just been with me from the beginning and you always manage to hang on no matter how bad of a video I do. I thank you all. This is an update and I talk about some changes, life changes since breast cancer and since these surgeries. Today marks four months since my mastectomy. Uh, when you see this video, it'll be four months and a few days. Uh, February the 9th, I had my mastectomy and my deep flap reconstruction. Uh, cut from hip to hip and that tissue, stomach tissue, was used to create a new breast. I didn't have a lot of pain. I had hardly any pain. Hardly any pain. The pain I had was in my back. I have rheumatoid arthritis. I was on the operating table for 12 hours and I had to walk bent over for a couple weeks. The most pain I had was my back. I was in the hospital five days, came home and for three days took pain pills and didn't take them regular like the prescription said. I just took them as I needed them. After that, I took Advil or Tylenol. March 23rd, I went back in for a second surgery because my stomach wound had opened up and thank goodness for my wonderful plastic surgeon. He's not of the mindset and theory that, okay, we'll watch it. We'll do wet to dry dressings. We'll do a wound back. We'll let it go on for four, six, eight months. He doesn't, he doesn't think that way. He told me in the beginning, if I opened up, he would give it a week, no more than two weeks and I would be back in surgery. He would open it, clean it, restitch it. On March the 23rd, he opened, cleaned, and restitched my stomach, and he cleaned necrotic tissue away from my new breast. I can't, that was outpatient surgery. I came home and took one pain pill. Since then, it's been Tylenol, Motrin, Advil, whatever. Um, and it's been fine. I haven't had a lot of pain. Not a lot of pain at all. There are some things you have to deal with. I was prescribed by the oncologist Arimidex. Most of y'all saw that video. I had really bad side effects to Arimidex, hence the short haircut. Uh, if you want to know what happened there, you can go back and watch that video. I'll try and link it below. The only things I'm dealing with now are pressure, and exhaustion. The first week and a half that I came home from my mastectomy and my deep flat procedure, I would get up and have a little swelling in my stomach and that went away. So for weeks, I was getting up, starting my morning routine, looking in the mirror at this washboard flat stomach and thinking, wow, this is awesome. That didn't last long. <laughs> I started swelling and bloating. I have to wear compression garments, also known as Spanx. I'd never worn Spanx before, but I cannot go a day without Spanx. And I have tried some cheaper alternatives and they do not work. They do not work. They are not the same. So I have one particular style of Spanx I wear and they're about $50 a piece. And um, I, I've purchased four pairs of those and these knockoffs that don't work at all. If I go too long in the morning before I put the spanks on, the swelling and bloating starts sooner. But even with the spanks on by three, four o'clock, I look pregnant. I look eight months pregnant. I do. And I said to the doctor, when's this going to stop? When's this bloating going to stop? He said, Sheila. I told you this would happen. It happens to almost everyone. It's going to last six to nine months, maybe a year. I'm like, okay. Okay. I mean, what can I do about it? Nothing. So you just, excuse me, I got the hiccups. You just deal with it. The other thing is the exhaustion. It comes out of nowhere. It will hit me. And I have to sit down. I might have to lay down a minute. 
or 15 or 20. I'm not accustomed to that. I'm not accustomed to it coming on out of the blue. My comments to some of y'all have been short and sweet. That's because I typically do that at night. And when the exhaustion hits me, my brain's not at full capacity, so I'm kind of short in those responses. Otherwise, it's no telling what I would say. I have been slow to respond, and they have been kind of short. I'm looking forward to the day I'm back to normal. I think when you have to face a health condition like this, the things that make it so much easier are trust in your doctor. I love this plastic surgeon. He is exceptional. He is amazing. The other thing is my husband. I called him the warden. Y'all remember that. He has been a rock in my family. I feel sorry for those that don't have that support. The other thing is, you can be, why me? Why did this happen to me? Why am I going through this? Well, let's face it. Some things just happen. They just happen. Why not me? Why not me? I'm nobody special. And it just happened. And I tried my best not to let my head get sucked into, oh, poor, pitiful me. Now, it did happen a few times. I'm not going to lie. And there is some worry. But when my mind settles on worry, I just, I, I just reroute it. I reset it. Worrying is not going to do me any good. It's not going to help me at all. So that's sort of the way I've handled it. I am having another surgery. I don't know when it will be to make the left breast match the right breast. And it may be two more surgeries because I have necrotic fat tissue in my new breast. I'm having to use a heating pad two to four times a day on high 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off, then 20 minutes on, and then I have to manipulate that tissue. It is a little tender. It's not a big deal. I can do it. Just have to have the air conditioner on when I'm doing it. Or the heat pump running. Gets a little warm under that heating pad. So he may be able to do it in one surgery, and go in and break up this necrotic tissue and fix the left breast, or it may take two. I don't know, but... It'll be all right. It'll be fine. I have been so fortunate throughout this whole experience. There are people going through this alone. There are people going through this with very small children and no husband and no family nearby them. I have been very fortunate. Now, what's changed since breast cancer? A lot has changed since breast cancer. I used to vacuum my floors every day either the robotic vacuum cleaner or me. If it doesn't get done, the world is not going to end because my floors did, did not get vacuumed. I used to go to bed every night with a clean sink, no dishes in it, the dishwasher loaded or the dishes washed and put away. I may wake up to some plates in the sink. The world is not going to end. I don't worry about these wrinkles and lines and spots, the seborrheic keratosis. I, you know, that's just not a big deal in my life anymore. It's not. For years, I have not gone outside in shorts. I have worn pants or um, pedal pusher pants or long pants because I was embarrassed by the separate ker keratosis on my legs. Honey, I run out the door in shorts now. I do. My husband doesn't care. For years, he's like, why don't you take those hot pants off and put on some shorts? I'm like, I've got spots on my legs. Let me tell you, those spots on my legs, I don't like them, but there's nothing I can do about them, and I'm not going to be miserable. I put on those shorts. Sometimes it's these spanks, and I go out that door. I, I didn't like it when a lot of my hair fell out. But it's just hair. Hopefully, it'll grow back. Some of it's coming back. Some of it's not. 
Yeah, it's not been long enough for that to happen. Little things don't rattle my cage anymore. Things about my body that I used to despise, I don't worry about anymore. I just put on a pair of shorts, short sleeve shirt, and run out the door. Now, let me tell you this. I'm fixing to say something that never in my life I thought I would say. And my friend Sunny, we talk about this. My friend Sunny girl. And I've said this to her. I cannot believe that I am saying the words out of my mouth. I will be glad when I can wear a real bra again. These things I'm wearing now, they're not real bras. They're those little stretchy things. And let me tell you, with one new and one old, chest area, it's kind of hard to match them up, and it looks a little ridiculous. Mm. So, yes, I'll be glad when I can wear a real bra again and look normal. But right now, while I'm not looking normal, I'm not worrying about it. I put those stretchy things on and adjust myself as much as I can, and I go out the door. That's it. I'm doing great. Sometimes when the exhaustion hits, I'm a little dense. I'm a little slow. But that's okay, too, because it will pass. It will all pass. And before I know it, things will be back to normal. All the surgeries will be over, and it'll just be over. So that's how I'm doing Y'all have a great day. Make it a great day. It is truly always a great day to have a great day. And when you have a battle to fight, get positive up there. Love y'all. Bye.